Feel free to eat whatever you want. How many have ever said that to a guest or to anybody in your house? Feel free to eat whatever you want. Does that mean that you can eat the, the cat food or the antibiotics that are in the refrigerator or the shelves of the refrigerator? Or when you're done with the milk, just eat the plastic carton. <laughs> just eat whatever you want. Or was there an understanding there of what food is? So let's go back to Mark chapter 7 and discover that who we're talking to is the Jewish leadership and rabbis. So would you agree with me that Jewish rabbis know exactly what the Torah says of what food is? So are we saying that Rabbi Yeshua is telling the other rabbis that I'm declaring all food clean. You can now eat a vulture. We know even in the Gospels, in, in, the, uh, in the epistles of Paul, they're trying to hang Paul at any time that he breaks the Torah. At any moment, they're trying to find him and trip him, trip him up so that they can hang him or stone him. And they accused him many times. If Jesus, Yeshua, is saying that you can eat whatever you want and he's going against the Torah, why is it that the very next statement isn't that the Pharisees tore their clothes, they couldn't believe it, and they went to grab the high priest and pull him into the Sanhedrin for a court-martial? Because they knew he wasn't saying that. So what was he saying? Here's exactly what he's saying. Is that the, the religious leaders of that day, if you go back into the early parts of, of, Matthew, of Mark chapter 7, they're saying that the bread is unclean. That they've defiled the bread with the unclean hands. What Yeshua is saying is they had many, many, many rules about animals and what you could eat and what you could not eat on top of the rules that God gave. So all of the clean animals, they had rules for all the clean animals. That it had to be sliced this way, diced this way, salted this way, washed this way. And if you didn't do what they said, the animal itself became unclean. You follow me? Yeshua says, hogwash, my father said it's clean. I don't care if you pour mud on it, it's still clean. You shouldn't have poured the mud on it. But it doesn't make it unfit to eat. It's still clean. So Yeshua stands up as rabbi and of the, of the creator of the universe as the word made flesh. And he says this, I'm declaring that all food that my father said that you can eat, which is the definition of food, is clean. Does this make sense? The definition of food is the key part to Mark chapter 7. If we don't understand the definition of food, when these Jewish rabbis are talking to another Jewish rabbi, and a Jewish rabbi named Yeshua says that all food is clean, we're going to read right into that scripture what we already believe, which is we're going to impute our definition of food. 